Halt! What are you doing here? Civilians have no business here. I'm from the Historic Monuments Institute, and I have the necessary permission. Another archaeologist? Weren't you supposed to back off until our people clear the area? Not quite. There's a couple of details left to be checked out. Okay, wait here. I'm going to call my commander. Sir, there's a man demanding entry to the location. No civilians are allowed to enter the site at this point. He says he has permission. Oh, does he? Let's see it then. Well, I'm not delighted. But it seems everything's okay with your papers. You're free to move around the camp, but nowhere else. Especially not the mine. Until that area is explored properly, nobody's going down there. Understood? Yes. You'll find your colleague down that path over there on the bridge. Colleague? He arrived after all the other archaeologists had left. Don't you know about him? Oh, of course. I, I remember now. I'll speak to him. Do what you have to. But don't forget what I said. This isn't looking good. Getting into the mine won't be easy. I'll have a look around and see what I can do. What are those old maps? That's none of your business. Could you spare a minute to answer a few questions? Well, okay, go ahead, but make it quick. We expect the explosive people to arrive tomorrow, and I need to have a working plan by 1700. Sure, I, I don't have much to ask about anyway. You see, my report on what happened here isn't exactly comprehensive. I'll tell you the brief version and I'll tell it once, so listen carefully. The discovery was made by the workers preparing the construction of a new speedway. The next day, one of them found the first mine. A couple more followed. They called your institute to report about their findings. Your people called us and backed off, so now we're taking over. Tomorrow, an explosive squad will arrive from Kazlov. Until then, access to certain areas is restricted. What will that do for you? Yeah, I think so. He wouldn't tell me more anyway. I won't disturb you any longer. Make sure not to forget what I've told you. Nobody is permitted to enter the mine. Of course. Seeing people fly around is the last thing I want. Now leave me to my work. Greetings, I've just arrived from Prague to take a look at the discovery. You're not uniformed. Who are you? I'm a historian, yes? Uh, my name is uh, Peter. Peter Stasik. Martin Holland. 
I'm guessing by your accent, I'd say you're not Czech, right? Well, no, I'm German, but my father is Czech. I had lived in Germany with my mother, but uh, after I finished my studies, I stayed here. Oh, we have something in common then. What university were you in? Charles University in Prague, but that was a long time ago. I don't want to talk about it. All right, let's turn the page. How long have you been around the camp? Not very long. I arrived this morning. And the others before you? The uh, others? You know, the others from the State Institute of Care of Historic Monuments. Oh, yes, the others. I, I got delayed in the city and came here as the last one. By the time I arrived, everyone had left. Except for those damn soldiers, of course. Strange that you didn't have to leave with the others. Very strange indeed. Why do I have this feeling that he isn't telling me everything? So, why did you stay? What do you mean by? I didn't want the grunts to destroy everything. They don't understand anything. And I want to be around when they answer in the mine. I need to get in there too, and as soon as possible. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe we could help each other out. So Major won't even hear about entering the mine again. You've already been inside? Yes, I have, but only for an hour or so. The Major came to show me out. No orders, he said, and wouldn't answer any questions. So it appears we're in the same boat. Yes, indeed. Can't possibly leave the discovery to them. They don't even know what they're dealing with. Give me some time. I'll have a look around and see what can be done. Good idea. Come back later. I'm sure we can work something out. Agreed. There's something about him I don't quite like. However, we do share the same goal, and two is more than one. I'll return when I've learned more. Paul, who are you and what are you doing here? I just arrived from Prague. Right, I was told so on the radio. I've come to finish something off. Try to do it before the explosives folks show up. The Major told me everything already. Where are the mines? Something was in front of the entrance, but there might be more inside. We secured what we could. The rest is up to them. We guard the surroundings before they arrive. There might be something even outside. I certainly hope I'm not going to stumble upon a mine myself. This isn't fun. A lot of ammo from the war is still live. Of course, I'll keep my eyes open. What's inside the mine, anyway? It's you who should know that. Your people were here even before us. Well, yes, but I'm here for the first time myself. Better ask your colleague. I'm just on guard around here. Anything you can tell me saves me time. I was only there when we were installing the lights in the first section, that's all. In the first section? Damn, we're not supposed to talk about it. I said nothing, okay? The Major was looking at some old plans. Is that related somehow? Listen, I have zero incentive to continue to talk about this. Go do your job and let me do mine. 
Fair enough. Bye. Will you at least let me have a peek into the mine? I'll just take a brief look around and I'll be right back. No way. The order is nobody enters the mine, annoying historians included. Go away, will you? I have official permission to enter the mine. Let me in. You can just forget about that. The permission only covers the surroundings of the mine. How can I do my job if you don't let me inside? I've come only to explore this spot. Were you even listening? Nobody can go inside until the area has been secured. Calm down. I don't want any trouble. Good for you. Now go away. Locked. The Major said something about mines lying around. The place doesn't seem dangerous to me, but do you know something more? It's true that the workers found something while uh, digging the mine. Not much, but the Major assumes there's more under the ground. That's why they're here, waiting for the experts. Who actually owns these trailers, anyway? Construction engineers left them here. Likely they couldn't throw them away in time. So the one over there is free as well. It's yours if you need it. I don't think anyone will mind you borrowing it. At least, I didn't ask anybody, and uh, nobody asked me about it either. Good. That old cabin behind the trailer, what's inside it? Oh, it's a cabin. What are you looking for around there? Nothing really, just asking. Certainly nothing you should be sticking your nose in. Why, what's going on with you? I'm okay, I just... You see, there's nothing as a captain, so why talk about this? All right, then. It's just an old cabin, anyway. Exactly. Why would he get this nervous all of a sudden? This Major, what kind of a man is he? I don't know. I only spoke with him a bit when I arrived. He asked a lot more questions than I would have liked. A soldier, you know. Tell me more about the mine. What's inside? Like you already heard, I didn't have much time to explore it. There's a system of hollowed corridors, some of them still supported by beams. Some collapsed. Is that it? Just corridors? Surely the professor wouldn't have sent me here only to have a look at a hole in the ground. There has to be more than just corridors. Well, not quite. There's a steel door at the end, going on even further. Damn, I can't keep my mouth shut. I shouldn't have told you. What? Why? Well, not yet. You'll get to know more when the time is right. Why all these secrets? It seems to me he knows a lot more than he admits.
How's it going? Today's all right. Yesterday was worse. A heavy rain all night. And who do you think was on guard duty, huh? What are you doing here anyway? Nothing special, really. Just taking pictures for the record. Sounds pretty boring. But you better stop talking to me now. The Major might not like it. Look, let me get to work. I don't have any time for your questions. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I won't be stalling you any longer. Good, I hope not. I've had a look around, and don't know yet how to get into the mine. It isn't going to be easy. One of the soldiers is standing right in front of the entrance. Yes, I know he has his orders, and won't leave his post, not even for a minute. It's probably better if we wait for the night. There's not much we can do now. I was thinking while you were having a look at the entrance. I know how we both could get inside. Both? Well, that's going to be even more conspicuous. Well, I have a plan. Together, we can pull it up. So, are you interested? I don't find the idea to be a great one. It can't be trusted. But it seems I have no other choice. All right, I'm listening. No matter how little I trust Stashik, his plan just might work out. Besides, I don't have a plan of my own. We've agreed on outsmarting the guard by the entrance to the mine. It didn't seem at all hopeless, and night was closing in quickly. One thing I couldn't get off my mind, though. What possible reason could he have for helping me get into the mine? I didn't get up until after midnight and slipped into the darkness of the forest. The light in the trailer was on exactly like we had arranged. The silence of the night was interrupted only by the sounds of night creatures. <laughs> 